Hi guys, Sean here from DigiDirect. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and assembly of the new DJI Mavic Air 2. This is the newest drone from DJI's lineup, just came out. Obviously it's a successor to the original Mavic Air. Now the reason we're doing an unboxing in this video rather than a full review is because of course we've got quarantine measures still in effect, so we're not going to break those by going out and flying the drone, but we're going to unbox to see what's inside. I'm going to show you how to assemble it, and we're also going to talk about the new features on the Mavic Air 2 as well. Now, if you'd like to jump to a certain section of the video, just check the video description below where you can do that. And as always, if you find the video helpful, please like and subscribe. So let's crack it open here. Let's take off some of the uh, cellophane here. Ooh, nice. So this is actually the fly more combo, by the way, uh, not just the, the bare bones combo. So we can see this has got the, uh, the bag in here in the basic version that does not have the fly more combo. It's not gonna come with a bag but we can see some extra stuff in here as well. Packed inside the bag here, you've got all the goodies. So here is the drone itself. So the thing that you might notice immediately about this is that this looks a lot more like uh, one of the kind of the original Mavics in a smaller form. It's like either a larger Mavic Mini or a smaller Mavic 2. It looks less like the original Mavic Air. So they've actually changed, gone away from that design a little bit. We've also got the controller. So this is actually quite a new design for the controller. It looks uh, quite a bit different from the other ones if you're familiar with them. It's uh, quite a bit larger actually. And the other models had the, the clamps for your phone on the bottom. This one has it up here on the top. So you can connect your phone up on the top. So for example, up on here, I've got an old beater of a phone on here, as you can see, an old iPhone 4S. But uh, you can see that there's lots of room. It's got plenty of space here to accommodate, you know, newer, larger phones. So that's no problem. I actually like this design a lot better. Um, it just feels a bit nicer. The, the remote's a bit chunkier. It's a bit easier to hold on to. Uh, also, the antenna is built right into the phone clamp here. So you don't have those, those antennas sticking off. And we've got the accessories bundle. Let's see what we've got in here. So spare battery. Again, this is the Fly More combo. So this is gonna come in the Fly More, not in the, uh, the basic one. Got the charger here and the charger cable. And again, one more battery, uh, but that's part of the Fly More combo as well. So two extra batteries in the Fly More version. We've also got this uh, multi-charging uh, station, which is again, part of the Fly More combo. This is gonna allow you to connect all three of your batteries here and charge them at the same time. We've got some cables in here in the bag. So we've got a USB cable. We have two more connection cables to connect uh, your phone to the remote controller. In there is a uh, lightning cable, USB-C to lightning cable. Here, these will be USB-C to either USB-C or micro USB, depending on uh, what, you, what type of phone connection you have. We've also got a power bank adapter here. And then, I really like this, a set of ND filters, which is gonna allow you to shoot with slower shutter speed than you would otherwise be able to. This is really nice, I like that a lot. Finally, we'll take a look at the props. So we've got two sets of props in here, two sets of six props. Uh, in the base one, you get one set of six, and these are gonna be props to put on the drone itself, of course, and then a spare set in case you run out or you, uh, you need some more. And finally, a spare set of joysticks for the controller. So I'll just make a quick distinction about what comes in the base box of the Mavic Air 2 versus what comes in the Fly More version, which we've opened up here. So in the base one, you're gonna get the drone itself, of course, with one battery on it. You're gonna get the controller with a spare set of uh, joysticks in there as well. You're gonna get the different uh, connection cables to connect different types of phone to the controller. Uh, and you're gonna get a set of six props, so four that will go on the drone and two spares as well. What comes extra in the Fly More combo is the bag itself, and we could see when we took it all out there, everything fit in that bag, so it's nice and compact, really high quality as well. You're also gonna get the two extra batteries, which is a pretty big deal. You're gonna get the charging hub and the power bank adapter. You're going to get, um, the, obviously, an extra six set of props, and you're gonna get the ND filters here as well. And of course, sorry, the charger and charging cable come in both the Fly More and the standard version, of course, as well. All right, so let's assemble this now, and this is actually quite easy. So first we'll take off the, the foam protectors here on the top of the motors. Really all we have to do is attach the props. Now you'll notice that there's some stickers on here. This one is just telling you about to charge the battery for the first time, we can remove all these. But uh, we'll notice that we've got B and B, and we've got A and A. So there's two types of props that will go on the two sets of arms. So we've got, here I'll show you here. Props look very, very similar, but one of them, one set of them has a small white marking around the outside of this hole, and one of them does not, it's just black. So we can see that that's reflected here 
on the motors themselves. You can see we got the white marking here, and you can see that the A markings have these white marks around the motor itself. So that just means that the, the A matches with the, the white mark props. So all we need to do here is just push these down onto here. You can see that that kind of pops down below there, and then as it's, while you're holding it down, you just spin the motor to the one side, and you got it locked in, so no problem. So let's do the other ones here. Then of course you're gonna to need to charge the battery and you can remove the battery by pressing on the sides here. You can pull that out. And the final thing you're gonna to need to do before you fly it, not right now, but is gonna be remove this gimbal case here. So of course, get rid of the sticker here. This is just telling you to uh, remove the case when you fly it. And there's a little notch here. So as you press this, you can just remove that. Uh, but hold on to this uh, because you want to put that back on when you're done flying. It's going to keep the gimbal protected. But when you're actually flying, of course, make sure you take it off. Then we just need to get the DJI Fly app on our phone and connect it to the controller. So you can put our phone up in here. I'm not actually going to connect this because this is a lightning cable and this phone is uh, so old it's still got a 30 pin connector. I'm using my actual phone here as a, a little recorder for my audio for the, the mic here, which is why you're not seeing that at the moment. But this will connect to, uh, to your phone and if you have a different connector, use one of the different cables inside that'll plug right in there. Then we've got the joysticks here at the bottom of the remote. So those are removable, so you can take those out and they just simply screw on right there. And then you'll be all set up. So you can turn on the app, connect it to the drone, you'll do some initial setup stuff and then it'll be paired up and then you're ready to go fly. So I really quite like the size of the drone here. It's, uh, it's very nice, it's not, uh, you know, it's not so small that it doesn't feel dingy or anything, uh, but it is still quite compact. The camera here, this is a really nice feature. So this is a little bit different than on the, uh, the original Mavic Air. So they've actually increased the sensor size on the camera here. So the original was a one by 2.3 inch sensor. This is a half inch sensor now, so it's a little bit bigger. That's going to contribute to better picture quality and better low light performance than the original Mavic Air did. Uh, so that's a big, a big deal. And then also, you probably can't see it here, but you can see it's got, uh, it says 48 megapixels written on the camera here. So this camera can actually take photos in two different modes. You can take a standard 12 megapixel photo, or it can use its uh, quad Bayer color filter to take a 48 megapixel photo. And so the advantage of that is of course you get a much higher resolution photo. If you're gonna be printing or maybe cropping in at all, that much higher resolution is going to do a very good job. If you wanna get some nice aerial shots printed for yourself, that's a fantastic way to do so. You are gonna get a little bit more dynamic range on the 12 megapixel shots, um, but if you need the high res resolution, the ability to use 48, that's fantastic here. They've also got uh, Cinelike and HDR picture profiles on here. Cinelike in particular is gonna be great if you're going to uh, color grade your footage, if you're using it for a bit more of a professional capacity, um, that's gonna be very, very useful. Uh, also, the drone itself can shoot 4K at 60 frames per second. This is actually the first Mavic drone that can do that. Even the Mavic 2 Pro cannot do that. So that's quite a big deal. So you can get slow motion in 4K, which is fantastic. And then if you go down to 1080p, you can shoot at either 120 or even 240 frames per second. There's also 8K hyperlapse on here as well, which is nice. And of course the drone's gonna come with, you know, all the features that we've seen on previous Mavic drones, like Active Track. It's got After Track 3.0 on here as well. Uh, some of the, you know, the smart maneuvers like Drony and then Circle and so on. Then check it out here physically on the side, we've got right over here, we've got a USB-C port uh, for updating firmware and so on. On the other side, we have the micro SD card slot. Now the camera, the, the drone itself actually also has eight gigabytes of internal memory. So if you do go out and you've forgotten your SD card, which can be a disaster normally, you can still shoot a little bit with that as well. So that's nice and handy. And then we've also got sensors on the bottom, the front, and the rear of the camera. So you've got obstacle avoidance in here. It doesn't have quite as many sensors as something like the Mavic 2 Pro, which has sensors on the top and on the sides as well. Uh, but you do have a good suite of obstacle avoidance features on here with those sensors. Now let's take a quick look uh, a little bit closer at the remote. Uh, so not too many buttons on here, not too confusing. Obviously the joysticks themselves, which are gonna control uh, your direction and height and so on. Then button wise, we've got a function button here. We have a return to home button. We've got a nice physical toggle here between tripod mode, which is a slower mode, so you can take more precision shots, normal mode, and sport mode, which is high speed uh, flying. Obviously the power button, and we've got the uh, indicator here of power levels. So right here we're about 75% you know, charged at the moment. We have this button here, which is new. This is a toggle that's gonna toggle between 
uh, shooting photos and shooting videos. And the reason for that is because on the back we have a trigger uh, which is going to trigger shooting photos or videos. Then on the other trigger spot here we've got this control dial which is going to uh, control the positioning of the gimbal on the camera while you're flying it. And then on the bottom, as we already saw, the spots to store the joysticks and the USB charging port. And a big update on this controller is that this now uses OcuSync 2.0 to speak to the drone while it's flying around. Now that's what's in the Mavic 2 Pro. On the Mavic Air, the original one, this used a Wi-Fi connection to do that. And it was fine for the most part, but once you got to you know greater distances or maybe some interference between the, the drone and the uh, controller, it wasn't quite as stable as OcuSync. OcuSync is a fantastically stable transmission platform. And so I'm really glad to see that on here. This is a, you know, it's a kind of an under the hood feature, uh, but it, it makes for a big difference when you're actually flying. So I'm definitely happy to see that on this controller as well. So that's the DJI Mavic Air 2. Sorry, I couldn't show you any footage with it, but uh, I'm sure you understand considering the situation. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed seeing what's inside the box, getting some basic assembly, and uh, discussing some of the, the new features on this drone. I quite like it. It's uh, got a lot of pro-level features um, that are even on the Mavic 2, or not even, like the 4K60. Uh, the OcuSync is nice as well, while still being quite compact and fairly affordable. Let me know what you think. Would you prefer the Fly More combo or the Basic combo? Um, personally, I prefer the Fly More a little bit. You obviously get a few more things in there as well, and that does seem to be the more popular option. But let me know what you think in the comments between the two versions. Now you can order this uh, either in the Fly More combo or the Basic version on our website at www.digidirect.com.au. Thanks, guys. Stay safe.